We're in Salisbury, where we've just finished installing our first Tesla Powell 3 expansion pack, which you can see behind me. In this video, I'm going to talk about the technical specification of the expansion pack, as well as take you through the options that you have when you're getting one installed. To start with, the expansion pack is almost identical to the main Powell 3. It's a 13.5 kilowatt hour battery system, and physically it's almost identical as well. The main difference is that it doesn't have the electrical gubbins built into it. It doesn't have the computing power, it doesn't have the inverter, and it doesn't have the MPP tracking. It is pretty much just raw DC storage. You can have up to three expansion packs per Powell 3, meaning that with one Powell 3, you can then scale your storage up to 54 kilowatt hours in total. You can have up to four Powell 3s on a single phase supply. Meaning that if you go the whole way and have four power threes with three expansion packs on each power wall, then you can have up to 216 kilowatt hours of storage in total. The charge rate of a power wall three is five kilowatts. However, if you do install an expansion pack, then the charge rate scales up to eight kilowatts, meaning that you can fully charge the system from 0% to 27 kilowatt hours in around three hours and 20 minutes. The charge rate doesn't scale beyond eight kilowatts. So if you have two or three expansion packs, then that 54 kilowatt hour system can only charge at eight kilowatts, meaning that it'll take six hours and 45 minutes to fully charge from 0%. Like the main Powell 3, the expansion packs also have Tesla's industry leading active thermal management system built into them. Now the active thermal management system is basically a closed loop liquid thermal circuit that dissipates heat and also warms the cells up if they're cold. Basically, it's trying to keep the, the battery cells operating between 15 degrees and 25 degrees Celsius. That's when they'll perform at their best. If you're getting an expansion pack fitted, then you have two options with regards to the installation. The expansion pack can either be stacked behind the main Powell 3, or it can be mounted adjacent to the main Powell 3. Now, if it's stacked, then the main Powell 3 always needs to go at the front of the stack. So if you're retrofitting an expansion pack, then you're going to have to take the main Powell 3 off the wall, disconnect all the cabling, and then fit the expansion pack to the wall, and then mount the main Powell 3 back on the front of it. So if you are retrofitting an expansion pack, it's going to be far cheaper and more cost effective to just mount it adjacent to the main Powell 3. If you are stacking them, then the whole system needs to be floor supported. You can't have expansion packs and the main Powell 3 sitting on the wall bracket. The wall bracket isn't strong enough. So if you're stacking them, they all need to be floor supported. Tesla has made the connecting of the expansion pack to the Powell 3 very straightforward, and they've built all the connections into one cable. The cable that you can see behind me is the 0.5 meter cable, and that's the shortest one available. However, you can also get a two meter and a four meter cable so that you can situate the expansion pack further away from the Powell 3 if you need to. You can't daisy chain the cables together. So the maximum distance between the Powell 3 and an expansion pack is about three and a half meters. The expansion pack comes with the same industry leading warranty as the main Powell 3, and that is 80% retain capacity after 10 years. And that's one of the most comprehensive and industry leading warranties available on the battery market. If you'd like a quote for a solar and battery system, please do get in touch with Spirit Energy and either myself or my colleagues will be happy to work out what the best system is for you and your house. 